Welcome, Scorpio, to your October Astrodice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. As you can tell, I put up the new orange tablecloth for October, saying that we want what we want, right? <laughs> what I want. Uh, last month, we had the yellow tablecloth on um, and said we can do it, just so... I figured let's put the orange one on so we can intermix the two energies together, keep it positive to get to your goal sets. Okay, so now that you know that you can do it, you can go for what you want, right? Get those debts paid off, get that car, whatever it is that you need to save money for, do, pay off, whatever it is, right? Okay, without any negative energy. So, keeping it positive, my friends. Okay. So going straight into this, this is where astrology meets tarot. If you make a small horoscope, these readings are a little vague, so I'll try to get to as many situations as possible. Okay, so getting straight in here. Let's do this. Oh, got the North Node coming out in the ninth house of Gemini. Ooh, okay. Now we don't have a North Node. Um, Hard, so I'm going to use Vesta because it's still the spiritual center of all things and the North Node is um, the side of the moon which is dealing with spirit and karma and things of that nature. Okay, so deep into here. So having Vesta come out is talking about the goddess within, your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity. And since she is the spiritual piece of you, this is where your karmas come in. This is where all those things are um, surrounding you. So getting straight into the North Node, this is talking about represents the karmic goal that you are working towards in this lifetime. It indicates your soul's mission. Ooh, nice. If you have thrown this North Node of the dice is suggesting experiences that are in line with your soul's destiny and from which you can gain advancement in your spiritual development and karmic path. So nice. So this is about your karmic goal. Okay, um, if you guys are on the Libra Scorpio um, cusp, it's very interesting because they have the South Node, which is actually talking about karmic ties. Okay, so you'll have to figure out, you know, which ones resonate with you if you are a um, cusper, okay, who is watching. Um, because it looks like there are two different parts of Scorpio that are going um, on this karma. So no matter what, Scorpio is going to have karmic ties one way or another. The only difference is this one is um, on the goal side and the other one is a learning lesson. Okay, those are for cusps who watch. Um, Okay, so this one is karmic goals that you're working towards. Let's get on that right def destined path, right? So, going straight into Gemini. And this is how. How are you getting there? You're getting there through the energy that is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, informative, stimulating exchange is possible. Okay, so... But somehow or another, because it's Gemini, which is Mercury, it's going to be very communicative. We know this. You're going to be communicating somehow or another, whether it's texting, talking. Um, it's going to be something of this nature, okay? More than, li <laughs> more than likely. Okay, so you have in the ninth house. So we're going to figure out where is this taking place. This is going to be, it's a soul mission, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, this is a journey. So this is going to be deeper than what it, you know, what you would assume it was going to be, because um, this is actually talking about broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. Now, because you have informative and academics, this could actually be talking about, um, you know, actually being on a spiritual guide to and path to actually get to school, college, things of that nature. Um, but really because of Vesta over here and got the North node going on, this is really going to be a, um, 
some kind of spiritual long journey that you need to really get to, right? Really getting on that path and purpose for your life. See that right away. Okay. So going over here to the North Node, let's see what's going on with that. communication right off the bat. I mean, it's already bringing in that Gemini right away, even though this is a take action, but this is also take action um, towards working towards your aiming and aiming higher. So the North Node is actually wants you with karma to take your limits to the next limit. Take your levels to the next limit. Take yourself, take your soul to the next limit. Don't aim low. But I also feel like it's going to be some kind of message that comes in that makes you want to do this. Um, did you get a message in a dream? Did you, was it your higher self saying something to you? Did somebody talk to you? Something that made you aim high. But I believe it's message form. Exchanging, right? Exchanging things. So, yeah, however it is, it's showing that you are aiming high for these goals. Definitely for the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this message or whatever came in, dream, I don't know what it is. Okay, it's going to be so different for everybody, but I'm telling you right now, something happened and you want your Ace of Cups. And you're going after it. You're aiming high for this. That is the most beautiful, fresh new start because it shows faith, self-belief. Um, going, you know, I mean, it's got the dove. You know, it's reaching the higher limits of yourself. Refreshing, renewal, you know, with water, cleansing. I mean, everything. You think of it, that's where it is, right? You have the Gemini. Coming in with this Taurus energy of the Knight of Pentacles. It's very slow moving process. The communication again. Once again. Communication, communication. A lot of communication coming in. So there was some communication that did come in. It's very slow offering. A very slow message. Very slow message coming toward you. In the beginning of the month. This is whatever this is happening in the beginning of this month, this message is what brought you to this situation. Something that might have to do with your dad, an older person in your life. An uncle, older uncle, a boss. It could be um, you know. Somebody who's more mature, a leader. Could even be a husband, a wife who's older than you. However it is, this message came in. And it has set you on this journey. It's made you think within your ninth house. There's that journey. There's that spirituality. Um, for some of you, you might even start getting back into your spirituality of Catholicism. Um, bringing out your Catholic roots with the mother coming out as Mother Mary, um, really getting you back into your faithful area of a long journey of going where you need to go, digging deep within your faith and having the understanding and opening yourself up to your intuition and saying, you know, this is what it is, right? This is how I'm getting here. It really made me think about spirituality. It really made me open up my belief system. It, you know, dig deep within myself it was like the perfect timing for me to take this action whatever this path is that you're going on this message coming through i believe it's through this this ever these are two taurus cards so it, you could be de definitely dealing with a taurus um, message coming from them Eight of Swords, having the realization that um, that this message could have put you into Eight of Swords. 
And instead of putting you into Eight of Swords, you've decided to leap into your intuition and let your intuition guide you instead of just leaping into being stuck, okay, and not using your intuition. Um, it seems like it literally could have done so. So whatever this message is, definitely could have devastated you in a way, but instead it puts you on a spiritual path. Wow, that's some karmic stuff right there. Because karma is almost like to the point where it's almost like the lesson is, how is this message going to affect you, Scorpio? Are you going to let it trap you in your mind, or are you going to set yourself free and use your mind? Well, looks like you set yourself free, so you're in the ninth house. A spiritual journey, right? Swords, middle of the month, you're feeling this strength, and you're feeling very confident about the situation. Okay. Yeah. You're finding that you feel more free than you could have felt. Um, I think this is a very freeing thing. You feel more free because you know that you you went the way that you wanted to go in the ninth house. You took the journey. You broadened your horizons. You did whatever it was supposed to do um, spiritually. Not allowing this um, lesson to be um, devastating to you. Page of Pentacles. Having the Page of Pentacles coming out was the expectations coming again from a Taurus. What in the... A lot of Taurus. This, somebody is definitely dealing with a Taurus. Okay. And if it's not a Taurus, then it's definitely Taurus, Capricorn, or, an, or a... Um, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. My goodness. Virgo. Okay, so, yeah. So you're definitely dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo who is sending you a message. So here comes another message in the middle of the month. The middle of the month is having another message. It's almost like it's an expected message, though. It almost feels like you expect this person to come back to tell you something. Um, so take it how it resonates. Okay. So yeah, it feels like it's definitely something that should be resonating with you and you're expecting it. A death card. So it's some kind of something that's going to change or make an end to something. Okay, so you're expecting this, them to come back to say, hey, you know, there's an end to this. Chaos has erupted um, and it's just very overwhelming. It's almost like they're they're... Continuing to keep communicating this with you, with the Gemini. Maybe you're dealing also with a Gemini. Um, but, yeah. Coming up to literally know that you're expecting this chaotic message to come to you. Okay. Yeah, not seeing any potentials um, at this time. Okay, so here we have this little thing. Once this one, this one message comes comes in, it's a little chaotic. Um, you were doing fine. Now all of a sudden, it's almost like you kind of stop the ninth house. Now you stopped. You just stopped. You stopped. You're kind of confused. Now you're really confused. Um, where you're trying to keep yourself out of the Eight of Swords, now it's caused confusion. So this next message during the month is going to cause major confusion. And I feel, yeah, that you've definitely stopped your spiritual journey there for a minute. Yeah, you've stopped the new change. The confusion within the change. Confusion in where to go next. Confusion, should I leap off this bridge or should I not? There's a lot of confusion coming in. Um, I feel like you're kind of, now you're getting yourself stuck. Where you were beautifully going, now you're not sure if you should change. You know, should I still continue to go to this college or, you know, continue on my academic, you know, journey? Whatever this is, right? By the end of the month, the fourth pentacles. You're taking kind of the control, though, of this situation. Um... 
There's a control issue going on here. Control. It's like you're allowing... Okay, you're going to go in deep inside within the hermit um, mode and take the control back. You might even have Virgo in your chart. Um, so it might be very easy for you to do so, um, especially if you're Virgo rising. But you're going to take this control back by going deep inside and really starting to think about the situation because you kind of got crazy over here, right, with confusion. Not sure if you should take the chance anymore. You should take this change anymore. Um, and now you're going to go back inside and you're going to do some self-reflecting, get deep within yourself to take back the control. Um, you know. Yeah, because you can see yourself backsliding within this relationship, um, whether it's the relationship with your, you know, with your faith or with this person or with somebody else. However it is, there was backsliding and you were losing faith, right? And maybe the communication, it just seemed like the more they're talking, it's becoming chaotic. So I'm losing more faith within this or the more you keep talking, our relationship keeps backsliding. Um, so how am I going to move on spiritually if all of this chaos in the middle is just going on? It just feels like the Gemini is just a lot of chaos. Um, it doesn't seem like there's anything. It really is putting you on this other path, though. Really pushing you. Yeah, because this communication has lost its luster. I don't even know where to go. Should I continue with the ninth, ninth house into my spirituality? You know, spirituality is like calling to me, I, you know, college or however it is. But this is really, you know, and like I said, with, you know, transformations and karmic growth and all these things, guys, comes a lot of, sometimes a lot of chaos and other things that are coming up. Um, see, because it says it's suggesting experiences that are in line with your soul's destiny and from which you can gain advancement in your spiritual development and karmic path. So, you know, it's indicating the soul's mission, but... You know, a lot of times we have to get off these paths. We have to put these, we have to deal with these kind of issues to push us over to this other side. And it's really showing in Gemini how it's really pushing you. Right? It's really pushing you. Now you're saying this has lost its luster. I mean, anything to that, I can't continue like this. Yeah, you're going to escape. You have to escape that to continue with your spirituality, your escape that karmic, whatever this is, right? This lesson. And that's really what karmic is, right? It's lessons. I have to stop this lesson, stop this activity, escape this. I don't want to hear about it anymore. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Yeah, you're going to, it's going to cause a tower because the only way you know now and that your soul knows now is that the only way to get inspired to get to where you really need to be in your ninth house, you're going to have to let the whole thing crumble. You're going to have to bail out of the situation. You have to bail out of the, either the energy or the situation itself. And, yeah, because with the separation will come the passion, and the passion will help you in the ninth house. That's the only way you're going to be able to do this. Yeah, with the queen of cups, now you're going to get back into that water energy, start now being able to use your intuition and get balanced again and start understanding, you know, what is going on around you. But if you don't escape that with a tower and really bail out of that energy, you're going to have a hard time in your ninth house, uh, in your ninth house, excuse me. Okay. Because it's just not working for you. Um, yeah. And it's weird because like I said, in the beginning, it pushed you to the ninth house. You didn't just go there. You were pushed. Now, that doesn't mean you weren't on a spiritual journey to begin with. There's a lot of you that have been on a spiritual journey for a long time. If you were on a spiritual journey, this just puts you further over. Okay, but at least now you can feel like I separated myself from this and now I can feel the protection from the universe. I can feel, you know, the connection. I can feel more at ease. I can feel the importance and I see the clarity of what's going on. But I don't think you're really going to see exactly what's really going on until you have that tower, you guys. Because that tower is going to awaken the senses to really see what's going on. Right? That's really going to 
push you over the limit. Right, because now it's going to say, hey, you know what, this is where you're going on your path, and this is going to show you that path. You were looking for that new path. It's showing you that new path. That's what the North Node was doing, pushing you to a new path, whether you wanted to be there or not. It just feels like that's just a part of the chapter, the new chapter that you need to be in, right, to get to where you need to be, Okay. It's like, do you have to take the chapter? Well, of course not. But how many times do you want to keep doing stuff like this? <laughs> yeah. So, no. It's going to push you because it's going to wake you up with the Queen of Cups. And then you're going to say, wow. All of this took me here. Okay? And that was reading for you, Scorpio. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye.